All right, so we're quickly gonna view uh, how to use a case formula uh, on a field in Salesforce. So the example I'm gonna use is I'm going to um, look at the lead source field on leads. And I've got all these different values down here. I've got web, phone inquiry, partner referral, purchase list, other, Zoom in, phone, cold call. Uh, what I'm gonna want to do here is bucket these by um, a certain value. So I wanna say that, you know, web, phone, inquiry, partner referral, and um, yeah, these three sources are inbound. And then purchase list, other, Zoom in, phone, cold call are a mix between other and outbound sources. So I, I simply just want to break up my lead sources into like an inbound marketing channel and an outbound marketing channel. So coming over here and looking at the case uh, or the formula editor for this field, uh, I went to new field. I cre uh, selected the formula type uh, and then the output as text. So what I'm doing here is just using the case function. And something I highly recommend doing is always clicking into this advanced formula if you're not too familiar with how all these different functions work. And you can see the case structure is expression, uh, starts with an expression, and then a value one, result one, value two, result two, uh, that, go, that can go so on to as many kind of value and result pairings as you want. And then you just need a else result value, which means if your expression or, uh, you know, if there's something happens outside of the of the value and results that you've defined, then you get the else result. So here we're going to look at the expression. It's uh, we're just going to look at the status field and we're going to look at the text output of that. Status is a, a pick list. Um, so I am just saying I want to look at the text value of the status field. If it equals web, I want to say inbound is the uh, text that I want to display in this new field. If it's phone inquiry, I want inbound. If it's partner referral, I want inbound. If it's a purchase list, I want it to say outbound. Other, I want it to say other. Zoom info, outbound, cold call, outbound, you get the point. So these are, you know, the first section here, this is the expression. Now we're getting into our value and results, and we've got some different sequences of that. And then lastly, right? You see this comma, you have a comma after every value and result. Uh, I have the else result, which is other. So if there's some other value, let's say someone goes in and starts adding uh, lead sources without my knowing another admin or maybe another user who has admin permissions. Uh, if they add another value uh, and it's not on my list here, it would display as other. Um, so here's just a use case and, you know, you can check, check syntax to make sure everything looks okay on how to use a case formula to build a field.